everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Lizzie. I hope you're doing good, feeling well, and ready to get into it. This is going to be a therapy session. I'm not sure what we're getting into, but let's get into it. Starting off with some advice for you. This is my super attractor travel size. Um, I am kind and loving towards others while creating clear boundaries that protect my good feelings and emotions. So this is kind of like you wombing yourself. Spirit says protect your space as you're growing and evolving through these changes in your life. Um, just be kind and sweet and understand that everybody's at different vibrations. Everybody has good and bad days, good and bad moments. Just focus on your lane. Um, and stay in the light and follow your instincts. If you're pulled to help someone, do it. If you're pulled to, you know, vent, do it. I feel like womb yourself when, when you are, like life is in the womb being created, you nourish it. So nourish yourself in whatever way necessary for you at the time. <sighs> With this heaviness. <laughs> True manifesting is about receiving what it is for the highest good for all. So, I think instead of manifesting specific things, like a specific person or a specific outcome, just say, what is whatever is best for me, I manifest it to myself. And that way... You open up the things that are meant for you and not just like illusions or, or traps you get yourself stuck in. It's good to feel good. This is about raising your vibrations. It's good to do what your body tells you to do. Um, I don't really feel like you should be harshing your mellow too hard. So if you like, if your body is telling you to sleep, get more sleep. Stay in and, and rest. If you want to eat a little bit, if eating your feelings is going to help you process it, do it. Like, don't judge yourself. This right now is all about healing and responding to your specific needs at that specific moment in time on that specific day. Live in the day, I think is what we're getting at here. But let's get some more. I've been breathless all day, like, but it's like this heavy collective, so I just was like, hmm, maybe I'll do like a therapy session today and see what's going on collectively or if it's just like an atmospheric thing. I am a moon in Leo, so we have a full moon in Leo right now, so... That could be the heaviness I'm feeling too. It's almost over. Your current challenges will soon be resolved. And you will be able to look to the future with a smile. So this is the heaviness I'm feeling for you probably. Um, you're in it right now, in the thick of it. Either you are struggling financially struggling in your career, struggling in your relationship, what it, whatever it is that we're getting into, um, the clock's ticking in your favor, it's getting closer to ending. Whether it's been some time, whether it's been quick whenever you're watching this, it's, you are almost at the conclusion of the difficult times. Again, sorry for my nails, I didn't have time this week. I'm so drained. I'm so busy. I'm only doing one reading tonight. I just don't have the energy today. Trust your angels. Let go of your expectations of how your dreams will come true. Trust that heaven has a perfect plan. That's, er, let me back up. True manifesting is about receiving what is the highest good for all. You're asking for specific things. You're, you're focusing too much on specific things for signs and manifesting. I just think, like, what I do when I'm manifesting love, like, I think I have a general idea of who my person is, but I'm not manifesting that specific person. 
I'm asking for my perfect partner, someone I can have children with, someone I can have a life with that's good for me, that's an equal match. And whoever that person is, spirit is going to bring into my life, not my my specific person. Um, or if you're like trying to manifest a specific outcome, like say you're trying to do something for an outcome like as far as work. So you want to manifest a standing ovation or you want to manifest being number one in something. So you're focusing too much on that instead of focusing on like what would make people stop and go wow like trust your creativity like you're harping too much on outcomes and you're not letting the reins go and letting spirit to to lead you and just it's like you either have like a specific type or a specific thing that is in your claw and i feel like it's blinding you in some way Let's get more. <laughs> Why can't I breathe right now? Every time I do tarot lately. Yes, you are correct. You have listened to your inner guidance and made a wise choice. Keep moving forward. Okay. All right. Sorry, I forgot your numbers. So you have 16, 36, and 38. Some of you have something inside that you're holding on to. You've made a decision. I think that you want to either announce this decision to like people in your life or your career like I'm just using this as an example like say someone is pregnant and they're about to show like the, the clock's ticking on when they're gon going to announce or someone um, is getting married um, clock's ticking on when their date is and when they're going to send the invitations. Someone's getting divorced, clock's ticking on when they can come and announce, hey, I'm actually seeing this person because I'm getting divorced. And something like that, you know what I mean? The clock's ticking on the ending of something, but you're, you're concluding something, but you already made a decision, you're already turning in a direction. So I don't know if you actually started making movement or if it's just the literal decision, but Spirit's like backing you up. Yes, that is the correct decision. Go in that direction. Wherever you have self-corrected, wherever you have turned your direction, is they're applauding it. Trust, trust us, the angels. Trust that inner voice. Trust that the karmic stuff, the stuff that needs to fall away so that you can have this yes thing that's ending. Even if it doesn't seem like it, <clears throat> God, my throat chakra is closing. So I feel like for some of you, you can't, you literally can't say something and you're, you're like dying. Um, I don't know, maybe you're dying to announce good news or just dying to tell someone something. It's time to play, number 17. You're working too hard and worrying about everything. Seek out joyous experiences to bring balance into your life. You can't just have all work and no play, all stress and no relief. <laughs> like you need, you need a balance of, and this dog talks about loyalty. So this is like lean on people that make you feel good, people that you can trust that are going to make you laugh and raise your vibrations because you're in a little bit of a funk. And I think it's because you course corrected you want to go in this direction, but I feel like there's some something here that's blocking you. And this is where the frustration, where Spirit's saying, hold on, it's almost over. Number 11, brace this magical moment. Number 11 talks about making a wish. This could be a wish coming true for you, a wish fulfillment, something you're manifesting. You are the perfect energetic space for your manifesting miracles. Allow your wishes to be fulfilled. So when you are laughing and you are high vibes and you are calm and you are cool and you're just having a good time, that's when you're manifesting. That's the golden ticket for you to get this yes you know I feel like you had to be like in a really high vibe space to make this decision now in order to get through this roadblock and to take action you need to be in that high vibe place 
around people that you really trust. Step into the st spotlight. So something is coming to light here. Um, you're announcing something or you're revealing feelings or perhaps both. But you're opening your heart, number 22. Sorry, number 30. 11 also talks about twin flames. This could be about love. Um, could be coming forward to tell someone how you feel when a, a relationship ends. Or again, this is a element of announcing or a release. It could be about business. Because um, that's very stressful too. But you're opening your heart up. It's like you're preparing yourself. Like I said, you've course corrected and you've opened yourself up to this new thing so keep doing that don't shut it back off with doubt like oh my god this isn't real like don't go backwards and or like get into that lack mentality where you think you don't deserve things because that's really going to block your manifestations let's get the sweet dreams Let go. I am kind to myself and share my beauty with those around me. I let go of self-criticism. Like I just said, don't let bad habits of thinking crappy about yourself or thinking, like don't put other people on a pedestal. You are worthy of things. You deserve things. You can do it. Like let go of fears. Let go of being a bully to yourself. Let go of people who are toxic, who don't make you feel good. Cutting cords, even with your own bad thinking. Nurture yourself. I open my arms and wrap around those that need nurturing, starting with myself. The people who are good to you, show them love. But most importantly in this time, show yourself love. This is about the loyalty you expect in others. Is now time to give that loyalty to yourself. Nurture yourself, you're healing, you're letting go, you're transforming, so be patient. This is the time when you're really supposed to be self-caring, um, resting, doing what makes you feel good, staying away from toxicity. Energy, I work with my dreams and my spirit's energy to reach my highest good. Like I said, you really want to manifest something here. So energy is like vibration, spirit's energy. The best way for you to manifest is for you to be high vibes. That's happy, laughing, being positive. I can do the, anything. I am worthy. I can be happy. Like, even when we're feeling like shit, you can still be high vibes. Like, it's just a bad day. Like, we're going to get through it. That's being high vibrational. Ask for help. I am willing to receive help from the universe Whenever and however it happens, your support team spirit up there is like, call on me, talk to me. I will be there for you. I will give you signs. But this is also talking about people that you know that are good for you, that are solid, that give you advice that aren't out for their better good or um, for their gains. Like really put puts you themselves in your shoes and can see it from your perspective you want people that really want you to do well in life you don't want any haters any jealous people don't talk to your exes <laughs> just be smart about who you're going to but mostly this is like talk to spirit and take actions um, no more like sitting in this place of I'm just gonna let things come to me or I'm just gonna you know wait like procrastination is never good for fulfilling a dream this is i'm sorry the let go deck I haven't used them in a while what we just used was the sweet dreams deck you can get these on amazon.com for like seven or eight bucks they're really cute i like the artwork for this one the back it says pay close attention to your patterns and let go of those that are merely reactions to life this is like don't um react out of the moment this is about thinking before you speak don't give the people the reactions they're they're trying to pull from you like see the rise above the situation and see who's just poking and prodding you see who's just out to get you and, and don't and act according to the situation like always have that moment of like i always picture myself like an x-men and like turning into like mist and like going above everyone and be like well, what's my best outcome 
no, 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 okay. Like, do that metaphorically in your brains. And then we have reach, stretch, breathe, believe. When you can let go of what, ah, I can read. What can you let go of to feel maximum joy? Yeah, this is about raising your vibration. I feel like you have a lot of low vibrational people around you that want to see you fail. And my card dropping was just clues of that. I want to show you the artwork a little closer. Really pretty cards. You can't grow in tainted soil. And you picture yourself as this vibrant flower. And you want to grow in the best soil. Soil that's nurturing. That's people that nourish the soil around them. And not just out for their own plant. That sucks all the nur nourishment and kills all the dirt around them. You want to avoid planting yourself in those gardens. If you will. <laughs> um, sorry, I'm just trying to get some of this out of the way before we keep going. These are very little and they slide everywhere, so let me put them in the box. <laughs> All right, we're going to the Everyday Witch Oracle. This is my travel size. <clears throat> my throat tracker is going crazy through this whole reading. Joy and delight, learn from life, connect with Gaia and inspiration and courage. So the, again, raise the vibrations, do things that make you feel good, that make you feel happy. Um, be like a kid. Hiccups. Oh my God. This is a good, a good reading for someone. All my psychic stuff is going off. <laughs> Can't breathe. Hiccups. My face is itching. But yeah, be a kid. Hang out and just do crazy stuff that makes you laugh. Watch comedy. Um, eat good food. Hang out with people you haven't seen in a long time that make your face hurt from smiling. Learn from your lessons. Don't harsh your own mellow. Everybody fucks up. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody chooses wrong. It's all right. See the lesson in it. Brush yourself off. Heal from it and move on. So you fucked up. So shit happens. You're going to be fine. You can pick yourself up. It's not going to happen overnight, but, but let's see what I, we needed to learn from this and leave the rest. That's just garbage and tainting your life. I'm sorry, my cat is biting my toe and growling at me. <laughs> it's very distracting. <laughs> Maybe you have like someone in your life that's just a jerk because <laughs> my cat is completely acting out right now. Anyway, connect with Gaia is connecting with family, your roots, who you are, with yourself, with your spirit, getting away from toxicity, really figuring out who you are. This is what you should be doing in this time, getting rid of toxic people, things, figuring out what you like, how to raise your vibrations. You're trying to manifest something. You're preparing yourself. I'm feeling that. I'm not sure exactly what that is just yet. But this is like summoning courage. Summoning the power to do something. And in order to do it, you have to kind of be, well, you don't kind of, you have to be high vibrational. So it's like I, I see you trying to be high vibrational um, to, to come to either... To come towards someone who makes you feel joy uh, and light and like a kid again or like a job that may, or something with your career that's making you feel like, <gasps> like you got your mojo back. And then the inspiration and courage is that same thing. It's like you're gaining the courage to go forward. Like I said, you course correct. This is the direction you want to go in. So it's like you're in a pause. You have this block. It could be a self block or it could be karmic blockages. But this is what you're gaining courage to jump over to so that you can go forward here. Let's get some more. We have my travel size Archangel Oracle cards. I got all of these travel ones on wish.com. They were like five or six bucks during the pandemic. It took a whole eight months for them to find me, <laughs> but I got them. 
life review. So yeah, I think you're like really taking stock of your career and where you want to go. You're also taking stock of your relationships. If you have kids, you're like, how do I want to raise my kids? What am I teaching them? What do, what do I want them to remember about me? Um, you could be like thinking of your friendships, like who's coming with me? Who is just like dead weight, making me feel like shit? Like you could literally be cleaning Maybe you, you're thinking about taking, slowing down for some of you and getting, but you're in this contemplative mode. And I feel like it's because you're in this, the, the midst of a cycle ending and a new cycle beginning. You're like on the cusp of things falling away and things coming into your life. And I think we get really reflective in those moments and that's where you're at. You just you you're feeling a change. You you've course corrected. It's like you're picturing your future, but you're still kind of stuck in your past a little bit or a lot. You could be thinking about something or someone. Again, nurture. You're. I feel like you're very impatient or you're very hard on yourself. Um, you're being very very hard on yourself. Spirits like be calm, be present. Maybe just focus on your kids for some of you, or. Treat yourself like you would your kid. Like, what do you do when your kid's sad? You want to cheer them up. Cheer yourself up. What do you do when your kid needs confidence? You can do this, baby. You got this. You pump them up. Do that to yourself. Nurture yourself like you would to a child. What would you say to them on a shitty day when someone's treating them like crap? Tell yourself that. When they say, no one's going to love me, what would you tell your kids that... Tell yourself that, if that helps you. That's how you be sweet to yourself. Yeah, you need, I think you need comfort. I'm, I'm sensing loneliness. Even if you're like with someone, even if the relationship's not horrible, I just feel like you got into this phase of not speaking or maybe you never spoke about your feelings. But you're feeling very alone. Or just in general, you could be single. I just feel like you're also being a bully to yourself. You could be comparing yourself to others with this life review. Like, I should have done it this way. Or I should have done differently. I didn't do enough. I'm getting this energy of just, like, beating and berating yourself. And Spirit's like, stop it. Comfort yourself. Like I said, talk to yourself like you would a child. You do want to take leadership. I do feel like you've made a decision. Like I said, you're course correcting. You do want to take leadership, but I feel like the thing that's holding you up is, like I said, you're in this moment of things falling away. This could be relationships, that you have children with them, so it's got to be peaceful, or you just want peace in your life, and you're just in this really chaotic turmoil situation even if it's just within yourself so maybe you just can't go forward with anything because you're stuck within yourself this could be like i want inner peace freedom from something that happened to you let's get more and see if we can get more details <sighs> i haven't used this in a while Oracles of Shadow and Light. It's about like getting it out. I usually only use it for Halloween, but let's see. What do we got? Nauti Nautilus Princess. Personal or powerful personal growth. Yeah, I do see you getting strong. Um, right now, this evolution, what you're focusing on, um, what should you... What should be your main focus is you and raising this vibration so that you can jump over this. Like I said, <laughs> I picked a direction, but I have this thing in my way. You want to jump this thing. The first step to do that is to love yourself and be high vibrational. So that's step one for you. Violet Duchess. Stifled, bored, and stuck. That's where you're at. Like That could be your roadblock right there. It's like... You're not letting go of something. You're dreading an end. So some of you are dragging your feet, procrastinating on ending things because you just don't want to deal with it. You don't have the self-confidence. That could be what you're gearing up to do to end things. 
but you're just you're dead in the situation you you want to go forward you want to jump over this hurdle and you want to go in a new direction for some of you it's the procrastination of fear of ending things not wanting to leave your comfort zone being scared to face what's coming and for others of you you've been trying to end it and there's just been you know if it's like a karmic situation, they're not letting go easily or there's just been a difficulty and you're just over it. You just want it to be done and it just doesn't seem to be ending. But remember what they be, they started your reading. <laughs> Endings are right around the corner. So you're coming out of this stuck, stifled energy. Candy cane angel, it's time for a treat. This is treat thyself. Pamper yourself. Do what you've something that you've always wanted to do for yourself. Prepare yourself for this thing that you're going down. Picture yourself already out of this mess that you're in, whether it's an inner mess or a, a mess in your situation, work, life. Um, you'll know because you, either you want out of it and you've been trying or you've been procrastinating on getting out of it. I'm going to the Rebel deck, the Rebel Oracle, again, travel size. This is a bit harsh. It's got swearing, but it, it's, it's going to tell me what you, what I need to tell you to get rid of or help um, give you some much needed advice about your current situation. Get over yourself and pull your shit together. Help people give back and do good shit for humanity. I feel like some of you are being pulled to help someone. It might be someone um, that you're kind of bringing into your life to see what they're about. Um, but you also want to help them. I don't, I don't know why I'm getting that. But I just feel like um, helping people helps you get yourself out of your own head and realize that other people have problems. Or it's just like helping other people in, your, in the office space at work or around your community but I just feel like you're so focused on your own shit and your own life like you're missing the people you're missing the fun stuff like the rerun has played the story has played out changed the channel for a bit if you will eat your fucking vegetables eat some shit made by mother nature put good things in your body um don't be overdoing the caffeine if you're working too much don't be overeating the junk food if you're eating your feelings it's, they're warning you to take better care of your health including your mental health you are giving too many fucks <laughs> give zero yes you are you are stressing you are over caring about things that aren't in your control the only thing you can control is your your feelings and your reactions in the second you're in. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> so just live in that moment and everything else needs to fall away because you are super stressed out, collective. All right, let's go to the numerology guidance deck. Sorry, that was really loud. Didn't mean to do that. Sometimes I don't look at the table and I don't realize how close it is. Happy ending! So yes, this trouble that you've been going through, that hurdle that you're trying to jump, you are going to get that happy ending very soon. Spirituality. Those of you doing the work have been doing the work. That happy ending is very close. Those of you that just started, keep going because I think that finish line's a lot closer than even you're re imagining, but I feel like you're getting a lot of signs. Just keep leaning on spirit, talking to your guides, keep working on that manifestation. Um, we do have some mirroring energy, so you could be mirroring with spirit. Ooh, this is about love. So some of you are um, talking to spirit, trying to manifest love. Um, you're going to get that happy ending with the one that you want, I'm hearing. Um, some of you, this is about a spiritual career that you love, that you're going to be um, getting very soon. You're going to have a happy ending in the career space. And for some of you, this is love, career, uh, love and career partnership. So that means you're with that person. You have some kind of divine purpose, mad love, work together, and you're going to be like a power couple here. Have patience. Divine timing is at play here. Don't get antsy. Just focus on yourself and keep doing the work. 
Um, again, it could be about a passion project you love. It doesn't have to be about a love interest. But I am focused on love right now, so perhaps because Valentine's Day. I uh, haven't used these in a while, but we're doing the clairvoyant reading cards. And then I got two more decks before your therapy session is over. <laughs> Meeting angels, this is you conversing with spirit. They're hearing you. They're really coming through to say, hey, we're hearing you. We're working with you. They're also like, keep talking to us or talk to us in general if you haven't been working. Like, yes, you have spirit guides. Yes, you have psychic abilities. Open yourself up. For those of you that have been doing the work and meeting your guides, they're bringing in those manifestations. They're bringing in those reward, rewards. You, you're going to be reaping what you're sowing. All this hard work in the best way will be my throat chakra <laughs> is going off. I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised and like choked up. This could be involving people that you feel you've had past lives with. If this is about love, this is like a, a love you've had over many, many lifetimes. Um, coming back together, you could have children. This could be someone you have a past with, just returning. Or this is you coming home to you, your spirit, yourself, feeling alive. It also, this also relates like if... Like you're coming back after grief or a loss. It's like, oh, I feel alive again. Like something that you thought was going to end you or derail your life and it ended up working out for the better. It could mean that as well. Finding a mentor. So some of you are going to be getting help in the career space. Um, this, I feel like majority of you, this is someone who might be a bit older than you that I feel like you're going to have a love thing with and a career thing with. Or just somebody who is very mature and otherworldly and has a lot of knowledge. Psychic conversation. I don't know why I heard 10 years, 7 years. So these could be like differences in ages um, or um, connections you've had. 10 years ago, 7 years ago, or just 10 and 7 is numbers you need to know. I'll take what resonates to you, but I feel like you have a 5D connection with some someone, um, and a lot of you are really um, coming home to your psychic abilities. You really are communicating with your guides. You really can communicate with spirit. Um, this person is like an angel to you. Um, I feel like you've been praying for this person, for some of you. It's not going to be true for everyone, but they're coming in strong to say we hear you. Um, we find you worthy of this angel person. Like, So for the people who are praying for, like trying to manifest a love interest here, if you're not like physically play, praying, you're manifesting for this person. Um... For the longest time, you felt like you weren't worthy, and this and spirit saying, "Think of how much you love and feel this person as divine." Now imagine how I feel. If I didn't think you were worthy of this person, I wouldn't even allow them to be a thought in your head, or have you working this hard. Like they, you are the match to this person. If you see this person as an angel, then boo boo. You are an angel too. They're coming in to say as beautiful and loving that you think this person is. This person also sees you as an angel. And Spirit is c clearly communicating that you are an earth angel too. Which I feel like is very shocking to you. That was very specific. For most of you, this is like really coming home to your spirit connection, healing um, from past wounds, um, getting help, um, maybe meeting a lover through a friend, or just getting help in the career space. Career could be taking off for you. All right, let's get some spirit song tarot, and then we'll go to the wisdom oracle and close out your reading. The hanged man, so you're in a, uh, uh, a waiting period. 
like I said, there's some reason why you can't come forward, whether that's inner stuff or outer stuff. You just haven't made the jump yet. You're in limbo right now. Nine of feathers, perspective and self-empowerment. Yeah, you're stuck until you change your perspective that you can jump over this hurdle, that you are worthy of things. You have to accept and see yourself as Spirit described you, as an earth angel, as worthy of this thing, of this person. Believe it. Help manifest it. Get out of the funk. You're holding your own self up for some of you. Three of acorns, foresight, exploration. Some of you, like I said, need to get out of third party situations and you're just kind of dreading your feet. Um, we all go through that. Like I stayed 15 two years too freaking long, so I am not judging you. <laughs> but um, this also talks about like coming back to your friends and having fun. Um, Calling in your soul tribe to help raise your vibration and get, get yourself out of your funk. But trust that instinct. Trust what you're feeling to be true. It is real. Um, spirit is helping you manifest it. You are worthy of it. Three of feathers. Release and recovery. Again, third party. So you could be really healing from a love situation and needing to take that time to recover. Um, but there is things that you do need to release before you can come forward or before you can make that leap. So again, it's like the collective is just, you know, picture like you're in the army now in that wall where you have to, you know, go over, climb up and go over the side. You're at the wall and you're intimidated at this wall. It's too high for you, and for some reason you can't jump or can't find the strength to get over it, and everybody is, like, going over you, and you're feeling the stress, and you're feeling the pressure, but for some reason you're just staring, and you're not making any movement. So that's what that pause is for you. You're waiting. It's like you're figuring out. You're looking at the wall and how you're going to climb up. It's like you're making a plan, overthinking it, and psyching yourself out. A little bit. Not a little bit. A lot. I'm just trying to lighten it. Spirit's like, no, not a little bit. They're doing it a lot. Sorry. This is a therapy session to help you grow, not to hurt you. Alright, so this is the wisdom of Oracle. Let me see if I can get some details. What's going on with the viewer and their life that we need to hear and know? That's living in the moment. Don't be stuck in the past. Don't be too far in in the future right now is cocooning yourself in this egg, getting rest, recovering, stepping away from the drama, setting those boundaries from anyone who's toxic. Observer, so you're watching someone. You have your eye on someone or someone could be watching you if you're not watching anyone. Clean it up. So some of you are watching someone. You have your eye on someone. You're trying to walk away from something to have this new start. Um, or you're watching, waiting for someone to clean up their life so that you can come in. Either you're doing the cleaning or you're waiting for someone to clean up their shit before you get involved here. I will get clarifiers, but let me get two more. What's going on with the viewer? I saw one flipped it. I think it was the fates. Where'd you go, card? I saw ya. Maybe I am, oh, there it is. Yep, there is something faded here. It also, this is also the Aquarius, the star card. It is Aquarius season as far as birthdays, so that could be relevant here. But I just feel like you have a faded connection, something you feel like you need to do that course correct. But you can't go forward until you clean up your mess and dead things. I do feel like there is something that you feel faded to. This could be a job that you're watching for an opening. This could be a person to make sure they're not going in any other direction while you get out of your stuff. Let me get one more before I get a clarifier. Time for a nap. You're, you're in a moment of pause. Action can't be had either because you're keeping yourself stuck or because of situations. Let's clarify. What's this here and now? Mending. 
So you're current. Some of you are currently fixing relationships. You're like leaving, but you want to leave on good terms. You're trying to make things work, especially if you have children or if you have to work with other co-workers or like your neighbors. Like there's a, a need to coexist. But you're again in your cocoon, mending your broken heart here. Tell me more. What are we mending from? <laughs> Yin. You've got something knocked you off balance. Either a person came into your life and shook you, and you're like, whoa, I need a minute. Or you got shook by love, knocked on your ass in all the wrong ways. Um, and that's what you're currently healing from. But what's this observer? What are we watching? Message in a bottle. Somebody that um, at a distance from you. Could be a long distance relationship, could be something over the internet, could be a crush that you have never communicated to. This person has no idea how you feel. You want to come in and tell them that you feel faded, that you feel a connection, whether this be a job or love. Um, you feel this is your chosen one. You can't wait to get there. Um, you're thinking about reaching out because I feel like some of you might feel like you're losing an opportunity or losing a person. Anything else we need to know about this message in a battle and the my throat chakra is going crazy. Orphaned. Um, like I think you were forced to leave something in the cold until you got out of something or you're recognizing that you abandoned this person. You feel like you are or they abandoned you. You feel like you're losing something. Because something's taken too long or you're just too scared to get out of something. Or you just feel like you fucked it up and there would be no saving it. What's this clean it up about? You're trying to end things correctly. Like this is, if you have children with someone, you're trying to like get out of that and make sure everything's good. If you're leaving a job to start a new job, you're trying to put your two weeks in and do it the right way. If you are, you know, beefing with your family, you're just trying to get your house in order. You just want to do things the honorable way. This is also you wanting to come correct. Wanting to um, fix a mistake with someone. What's the fate about? happy happy something something or someone makes you so happy like lights you up makes you feel hopeful makes you feel like magic makes you feel oh, in a way you've never felt before again this could be work it could be love chop wood you you want to get this thing started like yesterday you want to build on this you feel empowered by this um, you, you're feeling like it's time to run at this. Like, I just want to jump. Or you feel like I just want to get this off the ground. Or you feel like if I don't go now, I'm going to lose them. Maybe both round and around you, this person, this thing, you can't get out of your mind. It's you, you're getting pushed by spirit and signs. Like it's time to get out of my shit so that I can come towards this and start putting energy into what's meant for me. What's this? Happy, happy, happy. Anything else? <laughs> this is your other half. This is, you started off with yin over here by yourself. Do you feel like this is the person completes you? This is your other half. This is your twin. Or this is your wish fulfillment, your dream job. Or both. They did say both work and, oh, shit balls. So time for a nap go with the distance so it's like you're resting you're gaining those that courage that stamina to do what you need to do to get towards this happy happy or other half no place like home this this person feels like home or you could be moving back home for work or moving to a new house for work but I just feel like for majority of you this is about love and a person this is your one, your home. You want to go the distance. You want to build. You want to get this off the ground. You're either stuck mentally or stuck physically or both. And that's what you're currently working on or should be working on. Um, 
working on self-love, cocooning yourself. I hope this is helpful advice. I hope you like these therapy sessions. If you do want more like them in the future, hit the thumbs up below. If it resonated, hit the thumbs up. Let me know. Um, if you like my energy, please subscribe. I would love to have you. All my ride or dies out there who are subscribers, I love you so much. Um, I am doing a giveaway. It's a Harry Potter deck. I'm going to do a video on it um, closer towards the weekend. I have one more week till I do the giveaway. Again, I'm doing it anywhere in the world all you have to do is be a subscriber so go ahead and hit the subscriber if you're a harry potter fan hit i it's like a mindful meditation deck so it's not a tarot deck um you can use it in tarot readers readings if you are or you can use it every day it's like a, a self-healing deck help you work through your problems by using characters and parts of the movie it's pretty cool but i'm just not a huge harry potter fan so i feel like that should go to like a huge harry potter fan because i don't see him in the stores anymore you know anyway i love you all see you all tomorrow have a great day or night whenever you're watching this deuces love you all i need to go to bed my job kicks my ass i'm so bored but at the same time Ugh. I better get a booty and I better get skinny from all this freaking hell I'm going through. <laughs> well, I'm like, boy.